Uh, first, we'll start this evening off with a Yakima land acknowledgement. Today, the schools of the Yakima School District rest on the ancestral lands of the 14 confederated tribes and bands of the Yakima Nation. The people of the Yakima Nation inhabited more than 12 million acres. Across Adams, Benton, Chelan, Douglas, Franklin, Grand, Kittitas, Quidditt, and Yakima counties. Today, we honor the Native people who are tied to the land through history, legends, and cultures. We acknowledge their descendants who live in the world today. We thank the caretakers of this land who have lived here and continue to live here since time immemorial. An acknowledgement is a simple, powerful way to show respect. And you step toward correcting the stories and practices that erase indigenous people's history and culture. It, it also honors, honors the truth. As a school district, we will continue to build upon our relations with the Yakima Nation. So we are honored here tonight to have um, members from our local tribe, our local Yakima Nation, to help um, provide this evening's message and also to start evening off with a prayer. So we'd like to um, invite Arlen Washins up to say our, our blessing. That's pretty good, Rod. Shaklawit. And Shaklawit to each and every one of you. Good evening. It's good to be here. And uh, I know uh, probably one of the most important parts of a party and the celebration is uh, food. So I'm not going to take very long because I'm hungry too. So, yeah, and I appreciate your attendance. And uh, I'm going to use this bell and uh, sing a traditional, one of our traditional songs as a prayer for this food and this water that we share together. It's a very important part, this water that we use and uh, the, the power of life, the giver of life. And we honor it with this food that uh, you're going to share with one another in a celebration and honoring of our, of our students, of our youth and you as parents, as you heard. So we'll sing a, a short song here and say a few words and then we'll go ahead and line up and eat. Okay. drink water okay so we go back get your food thank you
And as is tradition with the with this type of event, we ask that the elders eat first. Thank you. All right. Hope you enjoyed the meal. We'd like to thank our actually our Yakima School District Nutrition Services for catering dinner tonight. So we will proceed. Um, first, we will hear from, we're fortunate to have a strong connection to the Yakima School District and you saw our land acknowledgement. We've really strived to continue to increase our connection and our support to and from uh, the Yakima Nation. And we're grateful tonight to hear from uh, Arlen Washines, the Deputy Director of the Yakima Nation. And after, after we hear from um, Director Washines, we will have a presentation from the Yakima Nation to our graduates. So we'll go to that point. Oh man, two times in one night, that's all right. Yeah, uh, first of all, in me wa niksha shmaya, go iwa shiapa tunkin me wa niksha Edward Arlen Washings. And uh, my, my Yakima name is Shmaya. Uh, it was given to me by my mother. It comes from the Wallawa Valley down in Oregon. Where at one time, all of our people belonged to what was called the Paluspam people. And uh, our relatives came from that area, the Small Hawk Band uh, down in Wallawa. And that's where that name comes from. And... Uh, <clears throat> named after my dad in English also. But uh, I want to say thank you for inviting me to be here, to speak, to share a few words. And uh, But first of all, uh, I want to uh, thank Trevor and his help for going out and catching that salmon. And uh, it's pretty hard pulling nets, you know. Believe me, I've done it. And uh, But no, it's really great. That food was awesome. So thank you and uh, for sharing that meal with each and every one of us. And uh, I really appreciate the opportunity to be able to come and share uh, with youth, young people, but uh, and students and graduates. But I want to talk a little bit at this time about the parents. The parents that are here, and maybe even the parents that are not here. And the family support that is given, that is taken all these years from the time that your child was born, raising that child, trying to instill and teach that child and try to encourage them the best you can. And many times come through difficulty, difficult times, maybe a, a roadblock in their life, in your life. But today, you are a witness to that work, that beautiful work as parents, grandparents, and your child and what they've achieved, what they've accomplished. You know, I always thought my children, they didn't listen to me. <laughs> I always thought they were just ignoring me and getting upset with me. And why do you have to tell us that again, Dad? Why do I have to hear it again? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm sure you've heard that. I'm sure you've probably witnessed some of that. But believe me, uh, as you witness your children tonight, you understand that somewhat they did listen. Somewhat they did take your advice. And also the discipline, the scolding. You know, I'm sure it had, has happened in your life, in your home. It happens in every home. And tonight, you, as parents, you are a witness to that child. The one that you thought wasn't listening, that wasn't being obedient. You know, maybe the one that uh, stayed out past 10 o'clock, didn't come home till midnight. <laughs> maybe snuck out the back door, back window went out, played with his friends, her friends. But tonight, uh, as parents, you are able to witness 
that success of your child, your grandchild. And it's a good feeling. It's a wonderful feeling to see that, to see them accomplish this first step. Well, not first, really, third step. Because you go from kindergarten, you go from uh, preschool to kindergarten, then you go to junior high, then you graduate. So this is not the first step. And there are many other steps to take. And believe me that all of that, what you went through as a child with your with your child and granddaughter, it, it, it doesn't end today with high school. It doesn't end. It continues on. It continues on throughout their life. And as parents, you, you're you going to understand that you know, as you see your child graduate from high school. And the next step, are they going to go to college? We don't know. Are they going to go to vocational training? We don't know. We hope so. Are they going to go into the military? We don't know. But whatever they do, you know, I know that you're going to be there to support them again from the time that they were born. And so you students out there, you know, you relish the time with your parents and your grandparents. You relish that advice, that support. Don't take it for granted. Don't take it for granted. I know a lot of kids, a lot of children who graduated from high school and didn't have their parents with them. And some of them were my family. Some of them were my friends. So take care of that. Take care of what helped you to get where you're at today. Don't take it for granted. Respect them. Honor them by continuing on with uh, living a good life. Living a good life. Free from all mind-altering substances. Live that kind of life. Work hard. There's a lot of work ahead of you. And uh, I know what work is. Uh, I've done I've done two things since I as far back as I can remember I've done two things in my life that I can remember since I was 4 years old all I've done was work and go to school that's all I've done there isn't a time that has gone by that I didn't work or go to school in 68 years of my life 64 years of my life that's all I've done so and, but it was a good life. I have children, grandchildren, and it's a good life. I have, I have relatives, I work, I help my people, I help my tribe. But in addition to that, I help our community, regardless of who they are. And that's my part of my job today. So I encourage you, uh, young people, you students, you graduates, don't let this be the end. You know, keep going. Even if it's just to work, you know, make yourself useful. I encourage you to do that. So I want to thank each and every one of you, and also the parents and the grandparents that are here, even the brothers and sisters, aunts, uncles, even your little brothers and sisters. I want to thank them too because they're watching you. They're watching you. They're looking at you, these little children here. They're looking at their brother and sister graduating. I want to be that someday. I want to be like my big brother, my big sister someday. I want to do that. So be careful. People are watching you. And they're not going to say your name when you do something on the wrong side. They're not going to say so-and-so did this. What they're going to say is the son of so-and-so did it. The daughter of so and so. The granddaughter of so and so. The grandson of so and so. That's what they're going to say. So remember, you represent them. You represent your family. So, with that, I want to say thank you. Thank you to Trevor and his staff for inviting me here. And uh, congratulations. And uh, you're always in our prayers when we say our prayers in our indigenous way amongst indigenous people. When we pray for our children, we, we include all of you, even though we don't know your name. 
we don't know your family, but we include you when we pray in our in our way. So thank you very much and have a good rest of the evening. Thank you. All right, we would now like to invite uh, Elise Washins. Elise is the Yakima Nation's higher education manager, and she is here to present um, a gift to our, our graduates from the Yakima Nation. It's so good to be here with you. Very happy to see so many um, people that I get to see on TV quite a bit because I watch the school board meetings uh, on the on the TV. So I was fangirling back here. I'm sitting at that table. I'd like to get your autographs later on. <clears throat> I just wanted to say that um, Yakima Nation is so honored to work with Yakima School District. And we have been working with the Yakima School District for a number of years. It is one of the districts along with Mount Adams School District, Wapto School District, and Topner School District that has been in consultation with the Yakima Nation for almost a decade now, just working together and alongside each other to figure out what works best for our, for our Yakima students, for our Native students, for our American and Alaska Native students that all attend the Yakima School District. There are hundreds, hundreds of Native students in the district. And I really wanted to cherish the work that Mariah Lowell's does in, in going to, yeah, please. And if she could come up here, because she's going to be reading some names for me with her list. What a way to honor her work by letting her demonstrate. <laughs> So um, we're going to be calling some students up and going to be recognizing them, the students that are present here with the traditional gift from the Yakima Nation. It is the stoles from the Yakima Nation. And we'd like to present these to the different graduates present. So the first one is, oh, you can read. Go ahead. Please. <laughs> We did live. Okay. Isabella Salinas. <laughs> Alexis Arguello. Alia Arthur. Cedric Atariak. Armando Bollinger Romero. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> William Chichinov. Laia Garcia. Devon Hip. Jocelyn Hunter. Joshua Knox. Makaya Linscombe, Emma Salinas. Elena Solario, Brendan Weaver, Angelica Heath, <laughs> Eloy Hernandez, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Alexis Perez, and Akita Woody, let's give her a clap. All right, I'm going to ask Mariah to stay up here so she can shake hands one more. I do have a special presentation who got his, um, his stole earlier uh, last week when he came to our office to sign up for the Workforce Innovation Opportunity Act Summer Youth uh, College Intern Program. And so I'd like to have a certificate and recognition. Um, I would like to call up uh, William Blodgett Raspberry. And this is in recognition of receiving the Yakima Nation Tribal Scholarship up to $3,500 per year renewable for four years for a total award of $14,000. It's my honor to present this to you. One more round, thank you. Thank you, Lise, and thank you to the Yakima Nation for presenting those souls to our students. So now we enter the portion where the Yakima School District would like to honor our students. And to, to celebrate our students, we have a certificate of 
celebration for your graduation. But we also have a piece of artwork um, created by one of our Yakima School District um, graduates. She graduated last year. And she we, we shipped these to her because she's now going to college in Utah. And she signed each one and numbered them. So you're receiving a numbered autographed piece of artwork. And this art, I believe this piece of artwork hangs in the at the cap state at the Capitol in Washington, DC. And so um, so that's the only one that exists except for these. And so we're excited to be able to honor you. And on the back, it tells a little bit about the author, Miss Morgan Green, and kind of her story, her story and the story around this piece of artwork. So we're excited to be able to present this to you as an as a token of our, our excitement for you. So first off, we will call up our students from Davis High School. Trey Blodgett. Isabella Salinas. Alexis Aguayo. Alia and Arthur. Cedric Atariak. Armando Bollinger Romero. William Chichinov. <laughs> Leona Garcia. <laughs> Devon Hip. <laughs> Jocelyn Hunter. Joshua Walls Knox <laughs> Mar 
Makai Lynchcomb. Emma Salinas. Elena Solario. Not the least, Brendan Weaver. Angelica Heath. <laughs> Eloy Hernandez. Alexis Gomez. And Akita Woody. Run, run, run. <laughs> and Ali Martinez. That's the picture of the, uh, the illust our, uh, illustrator and um, our artist and her story behind it. I know it's really small, so I won't hold it up. I'm just going to read it. So next, we have the privilege of hearing our closing remarks from Superintendent Dr. Trevor Green, after which we will have a final prayer by Ar Arlen Washington, and we will adjourn for the evening. Can we move that forward and take that off the back here? <laughs> uh, it's my honor to share a few closing remarks uh, this evening, and uh, it's really actually the probably the greatest thing tonight is knowing that uh, one of the only two people to watch our board mem our board meetings is in the room. So uh, thank you. Uh, I always wondered who one of those two people were. So now I just got to figure out who the last person is. Maybe my mother. That's probably who it is. It's probably my mother. That's a good good one. He's here every day. <laughs> I also want to thank uh, uh, Arlen for your words. It's, uh, it's very difficult to follow somebody, but it's easy at the same time because you've left so much wisdom to us here in the room uh, in moving forward and uh, uh, making a difference. And you know, during this special gathering, it really serves as a reminder of the love of, of community and uh, uh, that education is is not only a means of growth, but it's an opportunity to realize dreams. And I, I really appreciate the words to parents as well, because it's it's difficult uh, to raise uh, a, a child, to, to raise a family and do it the right way, because you don't come with instructions at times. And so to the parents and families and educators, supporters, um, thank you for nurturing our graduates, uh, for guiding them, uh, for your unwavering commitment. Uh, for your love, your encouragement, your guidance. Um, it has been instrumental in, in their success. And to those of you who are graduating this evening, or I guess it's next, next week, but we honor you here early, uh, I commend you for your hard work, your, your perseverance, and your resilience in your educational journey, especially uh, knowing that uh, the world has changed 
significantly over the last uh, several years, and you were able to accomplish quite a bit during that time. Um, you each have exceptional abilities and, and, and talents, and the diploma that you will soon receive uh, is a testimony to your dedication and will serve as a springboard uh, to your future. Uh, each one of you has the power to make a positive difference in the world, and uh, your unique experiences and perspectives and voices have that potential uh, to shape uh, uh, communities and to uh, challenge inequities that are out there in the world and to inspire change. Uh, so as you prepare, I encourage you to uh, pursue your dreams and remember the impact that you can have on the lives of others. Uh, please embrace uh, the values of empathy, compassion, uh, inclusivity, and be courageous advocates for justice and equality. And do not ever forget the importance of lifting up others as you rise uh, because your success is intertwined with your community that is here uh, this evening. Um, and I do want to thank as well uh, the Yakima Nation. This is the second year that we have done this. And uh, to have uh, Arlen, you here both years, uh, Elise, uh, to have such a good connection with the Yakima Nation is something that we, we treasure. And we understand that we serve also more than the Yakima Nation, that we represent uh, many, many tribes. And I found it uh, very comforting to know that um, the sovereign nation, uh, sovereign Yakima nation, uh, while being very concerned for uh, their children, also sets a bar for us to, to elevate what we do for all of our, our native students, uh, no matter what tribe they're from. So I myself am uh, Muscogee Creek out of Oklahoma, and I was raised uh, in part on the Yakima reservation. Uh, uh, I always like being called a swanner because I did spend some time out at Mount Adams at that district for uh, for five years, uh, but I do have a connection, and I feel that um, you know not only acknowledging uh, the students here uh, uh, that are Yakima natives uh, with the stall is is something that I really appreciate being done by the Yakima Nation, and I'm just glad that we can bestow a gift on all of our students, no matter which tribe they're from. And as this continues to evolve, I do look forward to a date where we are. Uh, more closely connected with all of our, our tribes and able to have perhaps a stall from each of their uh, tribes representative from across the country, no matter where you're from. But uh, that day will come and we'll continue to work towards that. But having you here this evening to celebrate with us and for us to celebrate you is of uh, great importance. And lastly, I do want to thank the support of, of our Yakima uh, Board of Directors, three of which are, are here this evening. Uh, for creating an environment where we um, take seriously uh, what we do as an educational system for every one of our students, uh, no matter who you are, and taking the time to be here and uh, represent uh, our community uh, to our native community here as well. So let us be reminded, lastly, of the boundless, boundless potential that each of, of you, our students, uh, holds here today. I want to congratulate you as graduating students and remind you that uh, your journey has just begun and I look forward to learning more about your legacy as you leave here and succeed uh, beyond uh, Yakima and make, uh, make a place for yourself in the world. Uh, thank you and I, I leave this with you and we'll now pass this back to, I believe Arlen for our uh, closing uh, here this evening. <laughs> Three times, all right. Um, again, I, I just want to be grateful and, and thankful uh, uh, to the students and uh, and uh, always remember again all of the past and uh, try to remember what happened and what took place in this journey that you uh, have unfolded here after 12 years. and. Uh, I, uh, I recently got a head coaching job, basketball, and, uh, and I always, you know, I always wanted, it reminded me of why I never became a kindergarten or first grade teacher, because I'm the head coach of uh, a bunch of four to six-year-olds, and basically all you do is like herding mice, 
you know, you don't really coach. You just kind of laugh and yell and cry and <laughs> but have fun. But uh, and and I envy. I don't envy uh, first grade teachers and their job, kindergarten teachers. And uh, I didn't go to school until the first grade. I grew up with my mother. Uh, I didn't know my ABCs. I didn't know the song. I didn't know there was a song. And uh, our teacher had, had us color uh, pictures. And uh, we posted them on the wall, put them on the wall. And all of them had a name on it except mine. And uh, she looked at them and she said, who, who did this? Who did this drawing? Who did color this paper? And I was kind of ashamed to raise my hand, but I raised my hand. And she said, how come you uh, forgot to write your name? And I told her, I said, well, it's because I don't know how to write my name. And all the kids laughed. And uh, I was a little bit embarrassed, you know, but and half angry. But at recess time, she made me stay in. And I still remember her. Her name was Mrs. Moore. And she made me stay in and she taught me how to write my name. I still remember. And so this year, 50 years since I graduated from high school, I have a master's degree in education. You know, so if I can do it, you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. So I just wanted to share that with you again and uh, share this song. It's a good luck song. That's what my elders told me that this song is a good luck song. So I'm going to sing it for you students, graduates, and uh, as a good luck for you and your future to think about things you're going to do and where you're going to go. And always remember those that helped you in the past. So I'll sing this song three verses. Thank you. Thank you.